Live now on Instagram, yeah, so, we get, so we get something going, right? We get something. We get something going, right? Yeah, so there we, we are. We get something. Yeah. So, Ryan. Yes, sir. I mean, a legend in the game here, A1. Big deal. Ah, uh, well, I guess uh, it's up to every, what everybody thinks. Some think yes, some think no. I would say more think yes than yeah, no. Maybe, I don't know. I guess, I guess it's, been, it's been good coming around the, you know, the pits, uh, meeting a lot of people, seeing a lot of people, and sometimes... You know, surprising yourself that uh, that many people are excited to, to meet you. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, so I guess, yeah. So you get kind of, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to say. Right? I, I, would so, say I, I guess you're important, but I don't. I don't really care to be important. <laughs> I, I would say it more as it's an important deal because we've not had day one in almost two years. That's true. And the fact that you know now that COVID's kind of you know still kind of fizzling and doing its little whatever. Yeah. We're still kind of in the game. We're yeah. playing along, and the good people of Orange County have kind of almost flipped the middle finger a little bit and said, "We're going to do what we do." Yeah. Well, like I always say, everything will float to the surface, even a dead man that's seen its shoes. After a while, it'll come to the surface. So, all the bullshit that everybody's you know following and, and going along with and all that is going to start to see you know through through the surface, kind of float to the top. And I think we're starting to see that now. You know, everybody's kind of a little bit getting over it, but there's going to be the people that are still convinced or scared or along with the game, you know what I mean? But uh, this guy here will never go with the game. And, uh, I completely so understand that and I respect that. Yeah, yeah I stay far away from uh, anybody's game. That's why I live I live solo, you know what I mean? I hear you, yeah. I hear you. So do you have any riders that you're training that are here today? Uh, no, the guys that I'm training are young up-and-coming riders. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes training the top guys, you turn in just to a babysitter and a sandwich maker and an ass wiper and you know, I'm, not, I'm not, not, that, not that guy but um, you know I, I just for a while there I was going around the world trying to educate the sport teach the sport you know um, that things that people didn't know a whole nother way of riding you know just like you see out there now you know neck braces are almost like the the, the flu where in the fuck did they go yeah, right exactly where yeah. did they go so you know, and that was, was kind of a big thing with me is, is making sure everybody knew that putting something on your body was causing the wrong technique, which was causing yourself to be more dangerous than putting something on for maybe that 1% chance, you know, for after the crash is happening, which you have no control of. Yeah. So now we can chalk neck braces up to kidney belts as well. Uh, well, you know, I mean, again, it, you know, people, people can use what they want to use. You know, maybe they help, maybe they don't. But, you know, for me... Uh, my my thing is, you know, it's technique before the crash. You know, after the crash has happened, you have no control. You know, but before the crash has happened, you have all the control in the world. Over. And so that's what I was getting at. You know, is is making sure it's technique, it's approach, it's positioning that's more than important than speed or anything else. You know, a lot of people in the sport are very kind of. Um, you know, a little bit lost this way because they think it's bike, 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 but I don't see these bikes jumping off the, the stand and riding themselves. No, they don't. You know, so I watch all these riders, how they eat, how they this, how they that, and they put more attention to the bike than they do themselves, and then they wonder why they get tired, they wonder why, they, you know, they, they lose concentration, they wonder why, you know, they didn't got uh, as far as they thought they should. Yep. And it's about your approach, you know, technique creates speed. Fitness creates speed for a duration of time. Yeah. You know, that's the way I look at it. I like hearing you, because you're speaking kind of like outside the box of what a, a legend of the game we normally talk about. Yeah. And now is that rubbing uh, feathers the wrong way? Uh, the yeah, I always, I always rub feathers the wrong way because I have nothing to protect. I don't have, yeah. any, I don't have any face to, you yeah. know, I don't have to save face. All these other people, you know, have to have, they're protecting the sponsor, they're protecting a paycheck, they're protecting, uh, still trying to be, uh, um, they're still trying to be important. Yeah. I don't give a shit about that. You know, and I don't, I don't have to do it. So I'm going to speak the truth. And I told many people in the sport that I'm, I'm not afraid to lose you as a friend yeah. to, to give a thousand people the correct answer. Very right? good. That, that's my big thing. And yeah. everybody in the sport is a little bit afraid trying to save all these uh, jobs and money and faces and stuff. But, you know, the truth needs to be spoken. Because a lot of people agree with what I'm saying, but they're afraid to say it. 
you know? Yeah. They're afraid to say it, so uh, that's where I stand now. I, I like that. I respect the hell out of that because yeah. you're, you're putting your own you know, reputation out there and everything else, but you're just speaking the truth and telling people what they need to hear. Well, uh, you, know, you know you know, a true friend. A true friend is willing to lose your friendship yeah. to be able to speak the truth. That is you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a true friend, not a friend that's just going to pat you on the back and say, oh, you're so great, you're this, and not tell them, tell you how they truly feel about you. So this sport has been my life, this sport has been my love, this sport has been my passion, yeah. and, you know, it still is, just in a kind of a different way. And so I feel that it's my, it's my objective, it's my responsibility to speak the truth. Yeah. And nobody, you can, people can say what they want to say, but I never speak something that is just made up or something that's going to get, make me a dollar. Ever, 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 ever. I don't speak to make a dollar, you know? Yeah. I speak to try to help as many people in the sport and, and try to educate as many people through my experiences or through my, you know, my uh, my failures, if that makes sense. Yeah, you know? and you've gone through it all. You've had the injuries that you've been through that break around this sport. Yeah, I mean, I've broken 46 bones, 27 surgeries, you know, I've been paralyzed three times in the last eight years, you know, and uh, four rods, three plates, 32 screws in my body. So this sport has been very, very brutal to me. Yeah. And, you know, but to, to still have love for it is is, uh, is something that is very special, I think. And so I honor it, and, um, you know, and, and also that's why I want to speak the truth to people from not going down my roads, but then also going down my roads uh, to, you know, maybe help themselves feel better, not have pain. Because I can honestly say, I don't have any pain in my body, you know, from my lifestyle. I don't take any CBD, I take no marijuana, I take no fucking, uh, you know, Vicodin or Advil or anything. It's my lifestyle that, that creates no pain in my body. And so that's what I want to share with people, and because this sport is very hard, it is very brutal, even for the average jump. And so if people can uh, kind of, you know, go inside or recognize what I'm saying, then then I've helped somebody, you know? Absolutely. Now, uh, coming forward right now, what would you say to someone who's up and coming, wants to be a racer? What would be like the few main bullet points for you? Uh, the few bullet points is make sure you're not a one-dimensional rider. You know, you got to have an answer for everything that the track is asking of you. You know, you got to have a weapon for uh, for any, any kind of fight. You know, too many riders are one-dimensional now. Yes. They're just going off lap time, lap time, lap time, heart rate, heart rate, heart rate. Instagram, 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 and that's why you don't see many people making it these days. And you got to be a well-rounded machine. Also about nutrition, you know. You know, people are so fooled on what they think is correct. Um, you know, and then you know, again, you know, they're, they're, they're thinking speed over technique. And like I said again, you know, technique creates speed. So, and everybody's in a rush to get to some place they think they should be, or they're very greedy. Uh, Trying, you know, trying to get somewhere or get something that they think somebody else has. But maybe it's not time yet. So I go to Noah Vinny and uh, Parker Ross and I tell them, look, you're not ready to go fast yet. You're not ready to go fast yet. You're not. That's why. Which, is, you're which not. is really true. Right. You're not yeah. ready to go fast yet. Yeah. So when you're ready to go fast, I'll tell you. But I, I never ever tell my guys to go faster. Yeah. Until they're ready to go faster or I just have them end up in the hospital. Yeah. And then and again, now I'm teaching you from my experience, the hospitals are no fun. Yeah. I've been there you know, too many times and so I don't want to see my guys go to the hospital because I'm trying to pat my ego to show everybody how good are the riders that I have and how fast the riders are that I have, you know? Yeah. You know, it, it, means, it means too much to me and so that's why I'm honest with you. That's wise. Yeah. That's very wise. Yeah. So, it sounds like you have a whole lot more to say. Uh, <laughs> and, from, and from the and from the obvious area that we are in right now, that's the hallway in the middle of A1. Yeah, no, we're, we're, yeah. We, we had a, we had a, we had a, I think they, they don't give me passes. I only had, had to show a fucking monster can to get in the pit, so... Uh, that's why we meet in the hallways, you know, but say, sometimes the hallway interviews are better than the big show. Hey, we oh, appreciate it, man. We're yeah, really we appreciate it. Yeah, it's so good for me. We appreciate it. Yeah. So we would love to have you in the studio. Let's yeah. do it. And really go, like, get into that, get into that level yeah. of Marvel Walters interview <laughs> that you really deserve. Yeah, well, again, I have a lot to share. Um, you know, I, I think uh, my mind thinks different than most, and I'm not afraid to share. Right. I think I have... Um, you know, something that a lot of people can grab onto, 
There's a lot of people that are trying to make it in the sport, a lot of people that have struggled in sport, a lot of people that are broken from the sport, and a lot of people that are struggling in life and that. And you know, these last eight years in my life has been absolute hell. You know, I've lost money, I've been divorced, I've been paralyzed three times. Right there, hey, he's that guy, Corey Lee. Woo! Yeah. So, you know, I've been paralyzed three times and this and that. So, um, and then I started this whole, um, this whole adventure living off grid. You know, a lot of people say they want to do it, but man, hey, come go do it. That's not you. No, 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 no. Oh, That's a whole other can of worms. So, <laughs> so again, when a challenge comes, yeah, there's times that I kick and scream and, and get pissed off, but you know, you just got to kind of just, you know, not get attached to what you think you want and not get attached to what you think you don't want because life knows what you want yeah. and life gets what it wants. <laughs> No matter what so, you think. Yeah. yeah. Very true. So true. Yeah. So true. There you go. Th thank you, Ryan, for yeah, coming thanks, here. Sir. And thank you, guys. I know you're doing with us. Yeah. Um, we definitely want to have you in the studio yeah. and have you really go over the full fine details of uh, the right. Ryan philosophy. We I just enjoy talking to you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. I love to talk. I love to share. You know, that's really the only thing my Instagram and everything is is to share. Yeah, I mean, that's all that. I want to do. So. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, buddy. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. And uh, you got to go watch the races now. Oh, my left arm is tired as hell now. <laughs>